Yo, what's up, everybody? We back to the old mic. Okay, the other one's gonna go back. But, uh, yeah, I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. I'm back to bring you a message here. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? What's up, baby? What's up, Collective? Happy Friday, TGIF, TGIMFF, okay? Uh, it's currently 3.48 p.m. on May 31st, 2024. It's 70 degrees and cloudy here in Minneapolis. Okay, we're gonna use this new deck. It says you are the way. I like that, you are the way. Hmm. That could be significant for somebody out there. You are the way to your, you know, you by doing things your own way is what I just heard. You are the way through your own way. You are the way this way mm -hmm. just the way you are you feel me no need to be anybody else or even try to be um a lot of people ain't getting that a lot of people are still in the energy doing dumbass shit okay <laughs> ah, okay a lot of people are still doing dumb shit what can i say we live in this world right you feel me <laughs> <laughs> uh yo man i think that you know i think things are you know i think things are very comical i also think things are very uh educational confirmation i still keep getting downloads of things and you know uh, back in the day uh, a lot of things probably would have hurt my feelings or broke my heart. But like I said, the, the biggest lesson that I've learned thus far is that people are going to be people. People are going to do people things. We don't control people. You know what I'm saying? The only person we can control is ourselves. And let's face it, collective, a lot of times in the past or currently, we've had a difficult time even controlling ourselves, you know? So we can't expect that other people are going to do what we want them to do or do what they should do. It's just up to us to do what we know we are supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So in any given event, that's that's the energy that I've been feeling. It's very sad and unfortunate uh, that people don't rely on being good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people don't rely on, 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 on doing the right thing. People seem to actually hate it when you are being, when you are righteous. People seem to really have a problem with that. Uh, but that's not your problem. That's their problem. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I guess, I guess in a sense what I just kind of feel like, I kind of feel like happens is, um, a lot of people are stuck in time warps or want you to be in a very particular state of mind or a state of being one that you used to be in. It doesn't work like that. When you when you go through hurt and pain, when you go through trauma and you can come out on the other side, the whole point of coming out of the other side is so that you can provide a testimony as to how you've made it. Um, everybody that you any any and everybody that's gone through any type of uh, karmic ways or trauma always will always attribute change their ability to change to want to change to be better um and you know and we do that a lot in life and sometimes and sometimes even when we're working towards being better we still we still become very we, we can we, we we back we back well not backpedal what is it called we backslide if that's what you want to call it. You know, we make mistakes, we learn from them. Sometimes we make the same mistake over and over again until we get it right, but we're still headed towards righteousness. Who you used to be um, is of no consequence. Not all the time anyway. Who you used to be is of no consequence. You learn from it, you move forward. If it didn't work for you, you change it. If it did work for you, you allow it to evolve to work better for you in the future or in the present moment. 
one of the biggest things that the enemy uses against us is who we are or who we used to be. Uh, we talk about, uh, you know, the enemy's plan, like when they gang stalk people or they, you know, trying to keep people at a low vibration. Uh, they will use your old you, the old you, like if you had any type of drug habits that you've conquered, any type of codependency issues that you've conquered, any type of low self-esteem issues that you've conquered, faith issues that you've conquered, generational curses that you've broken. The enemy uh, tries to get you to go back in that time machine of trauma so that you remain stuck. But when you know better, you do better. You feel me? Even if certain things, people, places, ideas are tempting, there's nothing stronger than that temptation but for you to go, I'm different now. I don't have to be the old me. Why does anybody want me to go towards the old me or go towards things that aren't even me to keep you stuck? That's why. You feel me? You don't have to do it. I mean, it's just that simple. No explanation needed. No conversation needed. We all make choices that are for the betterment of ourselves. And if you're really, really an empath, if you're somebody who cares about the collective, you understand that your decisions affect not just you, but everyone else around you or even in your energy or somebody that you don't even know that's halfway across the world. You don't know how your, your, you don't know how your act, how your actions are going to affect that other person. But, you know, as long, it's just as long as you're moving with the right energy, the high vibrational energy, the right frequency, that high vibe frequency. OK that 355 when I look down that whatever energy you put out there that anybody receives is always well intended if not good intended whatever now we can't control people people are going to be who they are long after they receive our energy well not long after let me not say that but when they receive it because sometimes the energy that we send out helps people change facts Somebody's nervous. Some people are nervous. Like seriously, a lot of tension. Thick as a thick as a cake, like a badly baked cake. Okay. Possibly somebody in New Jersey or from New Jersey. The name Trent or Trenton can be very significant. This is the Garden State. Impossible. I look like I got a little like a little afro donut. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I had I had a, a THC drink. Uh, but Indianapolis could also be very significant. Indiana, the Hoosier State, New Jersey, and Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. I just heard Arkansas too. Well, we got New Jersey out here. My nose is itching. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just be thinking about like how back in the day, like I'd be like, I would seriously try to reason with people or try to have conversations. Regardless of what my intuition had been telling me, I would go, I would try to have find some understanding and reasoning behind people or karmic things or even the bad vibes that I got that I've gotten from people or the things that I pick up on that people don't think I pick up on. I would always try to reapproach the situation like Dwayne, give this person another just give this person a chance to maybe just explain this shit. But nah, fuck that. I don't think so, G. Not a not not any not moving forward, <laughs> okay? For what? We are all adults. Dead ass. Okay. We are all adults. 
We all know when, when, when we're doing something right or when we're doing something wrong. The slightest hint of doing something wrong seeps out of your pores and in, from your words, from your lack of words, through your energy. The, I'm telling you what I know. That's why you can't be around a, a, a natural born truth teller or a natural born lie detector because we can pick up on it. We may not want to believe it. And no, we're not always at 100 percent. But a true empath understands that, OK, we may not be. We, 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 we are at 1 percent of what maybe, you know, there's there's we're 99 percent sure. But there's still that 1 percent. And we're like, well, maybe take it to the most high God. Ask your spiritual team to advise you. Check with your higher self. Meditate. Get a moment of quiet. You're going to get that 1% confirmation. Or you might just get a reminder that you're not being paranoid. You're just doing what you're doing to protect yourself. And no matter how anybody uh, chooses to receive that or accept that is not your problem. They should understand. Yeah, not a pinnacles here, disloyalty. So we're talking about disloyalty. The night, the night of pinnacles in the reverse. It's really funny because, excuse me again, it's really funny because like, so I, I, I created up your everybody's favorite, favorite psychic until you pick up on their bullshit. Then you become somebody that ain't a psychic or somebody that people shouldn't be listening to or, um, or you're wrong or you're faking up until that point that, that, that you call them out on their bullshit or you just don't. But nine times out, often at night, it's when you call people out on their shit. A lot of times, a person's deceptive behavior um, may not be something that they're doing at present moment. But there's another thing about being an empath and a psychic that people have to understand. A lot of times, we, we may get uh, a download about somebody's behavior or something, and, we, and it makes us feel like we can't trust that person. And granted, to have a conversation to go back to it about uh, post-traumatic stress and things like that, we, we do go through that. So sometimes we do have to check ourselves. The one thing that PTSD has taught me is better safe than sorry. No matter how that looks. As long as I'm not hurting myself or anybody else around me. <laughs> Confirmation. No harm, no foul. Uh, but what somebody taught me a long time ago uh, when I got a reading is that I had a gift for seeing another person's intentions. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe what they're thinking about doing, but then don't do yet. Or, or maybe not, maybe, maybe may not even do. But it's still dangerous because if a person has a thought in their mind about an intention, something that they don't maybe do, but they, but there was an intention that they would, that's the intention that a person is going to move towards you eventually. You, is that, you, you, you feel me? That's like if you're in a relationship with somebody and they walk and every person you walk past, they 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 could they go like, if I could get away with it, I would. You know what I'm saying? There's an intention that if given the opportunity, they would. They may not ever act on that, but at the same token, their intentions towards the relationship, the trust, the love, your temple, your your stability is being is being somewhat guided or halfway 50 50 you know 50 50 but halfway at least halfway guided off of somebody's intention to possibly do something so i was told that i you know because i would i would confront people about stuff and everybody would always go i'm not doing that yeah a lot of it was gangs uh, was gaslighting gang stalking but a lot of it was gaslighting but i had to get some more spiritual clarification because I know what I see and I know what I hear. And, and it was explained to me like, Dwayne, you might hear somebody say something, see somebody's lips moving and you hear them say one thing, but they didn't say that. But you're hearing the intention. It's 
Starlight shared it. So we got somebody very disloyal. This person could be a, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Or this can just talk about what's going on in the energy here. I did ask that. So what's going on in the energy? Disloyalty. We got a Knight of Wands here. Can I get another card, please? Yep. <laughs> To the seven of swords what did i say being slick and sneaky disloyalty this card came out right after we're going to get one more i want to see if this means that this is going to be exposed or are we talking about a leo all right let's get another try to get here try to gain So we got somebody taking some sneaky action that was foolish. They made a very foolish leap. Or they will. Different timelines. So we got the Knight of Wands here. That's a younger person or somebody that's, you know, younger. But somebody that acted prematurely or, or was very eager, very passionate about doing whatever they're doing. That is sneaky. We got the sun here. This could be your son or your child. It could be. You could be this child. The sun, you could be a son, you could be a male that's watching. I mean, I'm picking up on the energy, so it could be the you could be the karmic in this situation. If you are, then pay attention. Okay? This could be telling you not to do something that you're about to do. But the fool in the reverse could be Aries. But this talks about somebody make doing doing something very foolishly. Lying, being deceptive, possibly stealing. Somebody left something behind on purpose. This could be about exposure. This could be about you un this being exposed to you or this will be exposed exposure there's nothing new everything is the same underneath the sun nothing's new underneath the sun so something is being exposed to you about this situation let's get some initials out make sure you like share subscribe hit that notification bell select the all options so that you know when all my uploads are upload you feel me <laughs> with the eyes and shit all right. 33 on the clock when I look down. Some ascend, there's some ascended master energy in this bitch. Jesus knew. <laughs> All right. Let's give it one more. Yeah, one more here. So let's ask Spirit. What would spirit like to expose about this person and, and the action that they took? What would you like to expose? Somebody likes to kayak. Somebody likes to kayak. Somebody could possibly live near the ocean. Or maybe like a river. Take the energy as a resonance. Somebody really likes to kayak. We got O. This person is very nervous. Very nervous. We got T and A. Let me get a few more out, a couple of more out here. Oat. At to Tau. Boat. 
vote. V, the letter V. ATV. This person likes to do things outside, outdoors. C, and then one more. Z. H. <laughs> Somebody's name could be Zach. Tao, again, T-H-A-O. So somebody's name could be Tao. Chosen, chose. Nate, Tone, Coat, Chad. There's a lot of names here. There's a lot of there's a lot of names here. Somebody likes to eat cheese a lot. Somebody likes to cause chaos. Chaos. A lot of chaos energy. Somebody's name could be Chaos. That could be a nickname. Somebody's definitely by some, like a beach or something. With the sun out here, we got tan. Yeah, somebody definitely. OZ, Oz. Somebody's, somebody's. Somebody feels like there, there's an Oz energy here. Like the Wizard of Oz. The name Dorothy could be very significant. Kansas could be very significant as well. Somebody from the Midwest. But there's some... This is, this is the Wizard behind Oz. I feel like that's who's very nervous right now. The Wizard behind Oz. He's about to be exposed. So the, 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 the Wizards... Somebody's about to look behind the mask or already has about this person and what they've done. Mm -mm. This person needs to grow the fuck up. I'm seeing this person now. I'm like I'm seeing their energy. This person's very immature. This person uh uh this person is spoiled rotten. This person comes from money. This person is very entitled and this person has a, like a superior a superiority kind of they're like an elitist this person judges people this person is like the golden child or we're supposed to be anyways the higher font energy right there what is this higher font clarify the higher font the group of people a church a company an institution an organization tell me about the higher font death a death group a death group what did i hear death the hierophant is a group of people the king of swords here these people are like death eaters the hierophant to death that's like a death a death angel kind of energy. Clarify this energy. Clarify the, uh, the Hierophant to death. Could be talking about a, a Taurus and a Cap, a, a Taurus and I almost say Capricorn. Capricorn could be significant as well, but a Taurus um, and a Scorpio could be. Five of Swords, two people. Something they left behind, though. I'm going to tell you why I say that. So in this picture, uh, this person is creeping away. You see? And they're looking behind, but they left two swords this, this time, too. This is the five of swords. So the swords... Well, first of all, there's a, lot going, there's a lot going on here. But they keep leaving two behind. 
there's always two. They're, they're leaving two behind. After they get away with doing something very, uh, uh, one of the one of my readers I would like to watch. She says these are the swords are her criminal cards. So, yeah, these people were up to some bullshit, like something illegal. But they always keep leaving things behind. Oh, my left ear is. Hmm. Somebody's very nervous. Something's ha something happened. Like something is happening now. It's currently four thirteen p.m. Wherever you are, something just happened, and I know something just happens all the time. Okay. We're not saying that, but you'll, but if you know, you know. If this is your if this is your story, this is for you. Then you'll know, or if or if this confirmation something just happened at four thirteen though. My left ear just com real loud pitch. There's cameras though. There are cameras everywhere. So these people these people are leaving things behind. Uh, what I heard initially was that they're leaving evidence. Be they're planting evidence. So you got two people planting evidence. Making making it look like you did something that they did. We got the hermit in the reverse. And then I'm going to use these uh, other cards. The true intentions cards. The ace of wands here. Five of Cups. These people do not want whatever they're doing to, to be looked at. This could have something to do with their children, with their children. Ace of Cups to the Page of Cups to the Star to the Devil. Capricorn, I told you. These people are doing something. One of them feels bad, but they're still doing it or allowing somebody else to do something. Mm -hmm. The hermit in the reverse says that they, something's not being looked in. Something's not being looked into. They don't want them being looked into for what they've been doing. This is going to be a surprise to people, too, like a page of cups. They really don't want people knowing this, this star energy. I mean, this star energy and this devil energy. So we're talking about an Aquarius and a Capricorn. Two people. I'm telling you, an Aquarius and a Capricorn. Or somebody in that Capricorn energy. Or the devil energy. But I'm telling you, there's something about two people. Angel Michael, uh, please uh, give us some more clarity on this situation. Archangel Metatron, please give us some, uh, insert, you know, give us a little bit more information about this energy that I'm picking on within the collective's energy, okay? What are the true intentions? What are the true intentions? Hmm. Doing one more shuffle here. <sighs> small favor. I'm hoping you can help me with something small. That would have been the time for a good joke, but I'm not even going to say it. Friendly. I'm approaching with nothing but kindness. This fell out in the reverse. So you got these people are coming towards you, will be coming towards you, or did, to ask you for a small favor. Uh, now, the fact that it's fr friendly in the reverse tells me that it's unfriendly. So these people could have actually threatened somebody or threatened you, like made you do them a favor. Maybe this is what they don't want people looking into. The favors that they made people do. 
this evidence they're leaving behind. I feel like these two people are catching people in very compromising situations. This is these people could be married as well with the hierophant here. This could really mean that they're a group that they're a group that that do they're a part of a group that do this to people. That create endings by stabbing people in the back. A group of people that are dedicated to doing this shit. Gaslighting. I will deliberately manipulate your perception of reality on you until you are doubting your own experiences. Gaslighting, that's yeah. They're being gaslit. They don't want people finding this out. That's too many. They don't want nobody finding this shit out. Okay. They're they're nervous as fuck though. So they're taking they're about to take a foolish, some foolish action again. Uh, uninterested, I prefer to keep my focus on my own life right now. That's, no, maybe that's you, but that's not them. Or these people could really pretend like they're interested in you, but they're not. They're just trying to get closer to you so that they can get your ass too. I'd love to get together sometime and learn more about you. Date. I feel like that's what these people these people did. These people engage people. They get to know them. Uh, they collect information about them. Uh, and I feel like they either leave things behind just in case, or just in case they want to get you caught up, because they're leaving something behind. Could be cameras. Oh damn, cameras, recording devices. I just heard uh, something that they can pick up on, like your your card, like you, that little chip in your card. I'm, I'm hearing that they that they put stuff in your apartment like that, or maybe while they're visiting you, they are they you know. I just heard that these people could come could call you like an hour later or something and say, or a couple hours later say, hey, did I leave my phone over there? You know, something like that. Mm -hmm. These people uh, have been monitoring you, spying on you. Oh, no. Uh -uh. These people have been spying on you. People, not just you, but a lot of people, two people. A, 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 it could be a Capricorn, an Aquarius, uh, a Taurus, and a Scorpio. Could be. Or an, or an Aries. I'm just going off of the, the majors out here. I feel like a lot of this is done uh, with, the, with, the, with, the, with sexual energy with the Knight of Wands out here. I feel like people are seduced. If, I feel like these are couples. Thank you, Holy Spirit. These are couples, a group of couples that do these that do these to people. They're swingers. They're swingers. It's a group. It's a group. It's a group of couples. That's why the two. The two. I'm, it's the two. <laughs> it's the two. It's two. Two, four, it, yeah, it's two. That two is very significant here. All these people could live together, or they could all be related. The moon in the reverse. They don't want this coming out. These people could be related, or all live together, or in the same community. We've heard, we've heard, we've heard much. I mean, a lot of families live around each other, but I'm talking about when they live together. Like I'm talking about maybe all these people live in the same house. Some of these people all live in the same house. Not all of them, but some of them. I'm seeing it. Or like the same building. They all live in the same building. They don't want something to get to come to an end. Or they don't want look, they don't want a death look uh, looked into. They don't want a death looked into. Or an attempted or an attempted murder? Or an attempted an attempted murder? Is that what I heard? 
clarify the hermit to the judgment judgment I'm telling you these people look they look for people that are going to be ready and willing to give and receive with them these couples it's their couples two again two somebody made a decision to contact some authorities with the chariot here somebody somebody made a judgment or the police did to to go get these people i just heard or to to make a move what's the move by the police definitely some police energy mm -hmm. Something is faded. Something changed. Something changed. Something changed. Which a strong like that 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 turned the the, the will of fate. So clarify the will of fortune to strength. Somebody somebody told somebody told the secret. Somebody somebody came clean. Possibly a Cancer or a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. But there were. The, it was a, something somebody somebody spoke us spoke about these people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I cannot make it up. It's our Queen of Swords. Somebody somebody came through with some truth and clarity, and and, and cleared up some things with these with the people with the, with the police. I'm picking up about these couples. Spirit told me to grab a couple of more state cards because uh, this group, Spirit said get two more. Okay, we're going to get two more here. Utah, Beehive State. Hmm. Maine. Maine is another significant state as well. The pine tree state. And at the bottom, we got Oregon. So we're talking about Northwest, Northwest um, United States. Yeah. Utah is right next to Washington and Oregon. Uh, yeah. Utah is right below that. Idaho, blah, blah, blah. Nevada. So somewhere out that way, these people, uh, plus Indianapolis and Maine, something significant about those places, okay? Somebody, somebody gave some, um, some truth and clarity about this situation. They did. What's the truth and clarity? What else? King, Queen of Swords, what's the truth and clarity? Somebody gave the T. I'm telling you, made a decision to lay something to rest. Four of Swords. To lay something to rest or to talk about a death. Done by a Queen of Wands. Possibly a, fem a female. This has something to do with a female. Maybe it's a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. I heard this person appears to be like an angel. This person comes across like an angel, but they're really the queen of wands in the reverse. Somebody that does a lot of dark divination or is very low vibrational sexually. Somebody very jealous and angry, bitter, mean, anything that's passionate, that's bad. You know what I'm saying? That's her. Uh, this is somebody very nice looking though. This is, this is somebody that's very easy on the eyes, very appealing, especially to uh, the masculine energy or the masculine, uh, you know, masculine energy, very appealing to the, to them. I feel like because these people are uh, doing what they're doing to other people, I feel like these people are swingers. I feel like these people carry a lot of really uh, 
negative, low vibrational uh, sexual energy. Because for them, it's about money, money and power. For these people I'm hearing, sex is sex is sex doesn't matter to them. Sex is sex is a, sex is a, as it has been a means for them to manipulate and control people and to, to like do like sex magic on people. They understand the exchange. They understand how what it takes to get people where they want them so that they can steal from them or blackmail them. I feel like these people target target very particular, very specific people uh, that have money, of course. Tell us about what this Queen of Wands did. 40, 40 when I look down. Okay. Somebody could be the age 40. 40 breaks down to four. Page of Cups. Clarify. The four. There's lovers. We got four again. Clarify the four of pentacles in the reverse. Thank you. Mm -mm. Okay, so I was... So this person has told some authorities that these that these lovers right here, the page of cups to the fork, they tried to they tried to kill a child. Or they did. Or they tried to. Maybe this child's too young to talk. They they wanted something to be released. Some some, some money from a death. So they could have possibly this doesn't even have to be their child. This doesn't have to be this is just the child of somebody who passed on or something or something like that. This could be the Queen of Wands' child. It, she did did fall on top of there. But like, again, this could be a child. You could be you could be this Queen of Wands' child or have children with this woman. Whoever this person and this person, are, whoever this Queen of Wands and this this whoever this this couple is, this 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 the the focal point of the energy, they tried to get rid of somebody's child that that passed on about some money. So some money was left. They wanted some money released. They wanted some money released. I'm hearing it very clearly. The Knight of Swords, King of Swords, I'm sorry, clarify the King of Swords. They wanted some money released, so they 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 murked somebody. It's the Ten of Swords is right here. They ten of swords somebody. The devil is in the details. This is the, the King of Swords. The person that the, the, the mastermind is this Knight of Wands. This couple, the devil, too. I'm telling you. This, there's a group of people that do this, but these two people are the ones that are about to get that are about to get caught because of what somebody said. Now, somebody died. Somebody else didn't. Somebody, somebody, somebody did pass on, but somebody did not. Somebody almost maybe did. So maybe some type of drugs were involved. Maybe some type of poisoning. Some overdose kind of energy. This is somebody young. Somebody in their 20s. This Knight of Wands. Somebody in their 20s. The feminine energy is older than him, though. This Queen of Wands is older than this masculine energy. He doesn't even have to be in his 20s, but she's definitely, I'm here in 20s with it because the Knight of Wands energy is very, yeah, anywhere between 20, I would say 20 to maybe the, at the latest 33, 35 maybe. But he's the he's the mastermind behind it. He's the one that came up with this plan. This one. I said this one. 
whatever happened was his idea. We got the Queen of Wands here. Clarify the Queen of Wands again. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody caught them. Somebody caught this Queen of Wands taking something. Mm -hmm. Somebody caught on to, to what she was doing. Somebody caught on to it. Her stealing money. Eight of Pentacles working against somebody. King of Wands. Temperance card in the reverse. This is somebody. So this was a client of hers. I heard somebody that paid for it. This person is low vibing too. This is who's telling. This this person stole stole some money from this man, and I feel like he wasn't supposed to survive. So maybe it was one of those cases where somebody gets drugged and then they you know drugs them, and then takes everything. That's what I just heard. Yeah, telling the secret. priestess in reverse secrets are coming out this person is telling what they know i feel like this person was being black i can't make it up six i was about to say blackmailed six of six of pentacles here this person was being blackmailed about something that these people do together i can't make it up what these people do these couples this person could have been part of this this swingers group Let's see what comes out with the black cards. Snakes wear beards, you know? Snakes wear beards too. Mm -hmm. We got tarot reader out here. One of these people could be a tarot reader. Writer, clothing designer, mortician. I'm not surprised mortician's out here. Mm -hmm. Hate. Hate, 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 hate. These people are very hateful. Somebody could have been a banker. There could have been a lot of financial transactions. Fraudulent financial transactions, I heard. I heard. So what am I hearing that these people, these people blackmail people, but they also, th through seduction, uh, through entity attachments, you know, that lust demon and shit, these people do a lot of sex magic. These people get people hooked on drugs. They, they get them hooked with the sex. They fuck their mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then they convince people with very particular jobs to do very particular financially beneficial things. Def def I'm hearing definitely something on a fraudulent level. Um, and then they, they, they blackmail people to continue to keep doing these things or for money. Or they're going to expose people for the sex that they have, for the drugs that they use, for their illegal sexual, sexual proclivities I just heard. Okay. Part of this group of people, we got a tarot card reader, we got a clothing a clothing designer, we got a writer, we got a mortician. Who are all hateful bitches. <laughs> okay? I'm not laughing at what they've done. I'm telling you, this is what it is. Somebody, somebody survived. Somebody, somebody survived that wasn't even supposed to survive. Whoever we're talking about here, I'm hearing that this person that survived about and is talking about this crime, justice in the reverse. This this person that lived to, tell, to talk about this crime got a lot to lose. Or had a lot to lose, but has a lot to lose. For this action, for being dumb, for being stupid, for being uh, let off by some lust demon. You know what I'm saying? Or to get tempted by and seduced by greed or, or, or not even greed. Greed is part of it, but it's also this is about sex for these people. Yeah, six person can't. This person isn't. 
these people are not getting away with this. They don't get to sell off to the Seven of Swords like they got away with some shit. Not in, not this time, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that this person here survived. This person also probably came to their senses. I'm seeing it with, with a clear vision. This person, I'm seeing this person like getting up, waking up and their stuff, like all their shit is gone. Like all their financial stuff, money, cards, ID, probably some appliances, not like microwaves or nothing, but you know, like expensive items, jewelry. This person was completely robbed and left for dead. I feel like this person was, was probably poisoned with like GHB or like ketamine or something I just heard. Or maybe, no, fentanyl, this person would have been out. I feel like this person was using GHB or ketamine um, and they went into like what's called like a G-ho. And these people thought this person was dead and this person didn't die. This person actually lived. And then they contacted the authorities. I'm here in California. Where this happened. California. I'm hearing it very specifically. We got the Emperor card out here to the Will of Fortune. Emperor represents an investigator, a cop, somebody in charge, boss man, a cop. Um, that was all they needed. I told you that was all they needed. They were looking for something about this group of people, these family members, so that so that because I feel like the investigation up until this point, they couldn't really get anything on them. So this it was the reverse will of fortune. But this person coming clean and, and ta talking about what happened changed the game about how this will was for this family. This is a will of fortune in the upright for authorities. I can't make it up. We got the six of wands here in the reverse because secrets are out. Mm -hmm. And now these people are heavily burdened about the secret that's come. Well, it ain't, it's not even a, just a, this shit's, this kind of shit, this is the kind of shit that be on the news, y'all. Maybe not CNN, but local news. Anybody that, anybody that's a part of this group, um, if they were, if they, if, if they got arrested in California, but they're from Oregon, it'd be on in Oregon. If they got arrested in California and they from Maine. It'd be in, it'd be on the TV in Maine, okay? I feel like these, I feel like these people. It's one, of, it's one of these things for these group of people that get away with this kind of stuff, a lot. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is the shit that's being exposed, you guys. I'm telling you, judgment's been called. These people don't even see it coming. They don't see it coming, because listen, this is what they were looking. This is all they look for. This group of people. Somebody, I'm telling you, this is what they found out. These big boys. How long these people been doing this shit? How much money these people? This is the Fed. This is you see how you see the emperor to the chariot to now the hierophant coming out upright. I'm telling you, these people have been looking into and received some type of truth and clarity about how much money these people have actually taken through theft and through blackmail. I just really feel like. I feel like there's karma in the river. I'm telling you, karma. These people are getting karma. They don't even see it coming. The three of wands because they thought this person was dead. They thought this person was gone. Now, as far as why it's taken that, like, I feel like that there were deaths, but they couldn't prove that somebody did it because I feel like people just kept passing on. Spirit says, yes, that's the truth. They couldn't, they couldn't prove it. Because nobody would, nobody, but I feel like now they, they're putting, from whatever this person told them about what happened to them, I feel like now they know they can tie them all together. Because this has happened often, I'm hearing. Uh, these other, all these instances, just, they, they look like people just overdosed on drugs. Yep. Yeah, they do. it just looks like people die from overdoses. 
what I'm hearing what they what they what they suspect is different than them having proof. But there's but there's but I feel like somebody somewhere that's been in looking into these strange deaths or these overdoses has probably considered the fact that this is not what it is, but they didn't have anything else to go on. All right, let's get one more out here. Anything else you would like the collective to know? We got the, the so something was being looked into. This couple, again, the devil. This group stuck. I'm telling you, this group is stuck. Well, the fortune in the reverse. So this group is stuck now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. This group is stuck. This group of the swingers group, this couple group or whatever, they're stuck. And that's about it. So I'm closing out the message. I'm closing out the reading. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? You know what I? You know what I just wanted to. Uh, you know, I would like to just let people know, you know, 444 on the clock when I look down, 444 p.m. You can, as many notes as people take, they'll never, ever be able to be you. You know, it's a, it's a trip. It's a trip. Of, it's a trip when people, when people know that, you know what I'm saying? You could have something good coming for you. It could be a $5 check. It don't even matter. But if people know that you have blessings coming your way, instead of encouraging you to be prepared for a blessing, um, or just wanting to be very genuine people, people will then try to get to know you just to ruin you or take you down. I got that message clearly a year ago, over a year ago, that I needed to stop doing things that I knew were not good for me so that others wouldn't have things to use against me that weren't good for me. Because the things that I were doing weren't good for me anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I made a sacrifice of some things I didn't want to give up. I made it. I, I completely eclipsed out things that weren't good for me, period. I feel like a lot of the a lot of the messages that we get are very they're 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 not just for people to be nosy. I say that all the time. There's a lesson within all, all of these messages, at least the ones I give. I'm not saying anything different about anybody else, but I know my intention is to provide information so that people can make better decisions. Hell, so I can even make better decisions off of the shit that I, you know, read on. But these messages are to wake people up. This may not even be your situation, but it could be. You feel me? Like, that's what I'm telling you. This could be your situation. People might want to get people get you caught up. You know, people are going to do what they want to do, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't encourage people using drugs because my experience is that it attracts. It's, it's not good for your spiritual ascension, of course. But outside of that, because people are going to use people, there are people that, you know, don't agree with that. People believe, you know, whatever they choose to believe. And I ain't saying that, you know, that's just my personal. My personal experience is that drugs do not serve my highest purpose, my highest good. But hell, it could, it could somebody else. I don't know. But the one thing that we can say is that uh, the crowd, the, the type of energies, the type of people that drugs uh, bring into your, your life, the crowd, is, is it, it, it's never good for anybody. These kind of problems only come when you're involved in these kind of things. It's the truth. A lot of people get a lot of people use drugs and forget who they are and do and do all kind of shit that they never thought they would do. No, 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 no. I always told myself if I wasn't going to do it sober, why am I going to do it high? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, my 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 actions, my actions uh, did not deviate too far from normal actions. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know. Because a lot of times people, I do believe, do use drugs and, and become of empty. They open themselves up to becoming a vessel 
for things that they didn't even intend on doing, especially when you're dealing with people who are trying to pass you sexually transmitted demons or give you less demons to be attached to you. People use, uh, you know, sex magic like that. Sex magic and drugs, very dangerous thing. Sex magic, sex and drugs together and a lack of uh, inhibition is very bad for people. That's the truth. Um, there are a lot of people that I know lost their lives uh, because of, you know, using drugs and being around the wrong people. Not to say that everybody, that people did things to these people, but you're around people who ultimately, you know, weren't really kind of looking out for anybody. They just weren't. Yeah, people, you know, people overdose and all that, you know, it happens so often where people, you know, and it does happen. But if but if but if you're around people, if you're around somebody who who pays attention to, you know, you or cares remotely even cares about you, nobody's going to sit for for a whole hour alone or for 15 whole minutes not breathing. I'll tell you a really quick story here. So when I lived in Rochester, a friend of mine then was staying with me and, uh, you know, drug, you know, he used drugs and shit. You know, I was it was what it was those days. But this person used a very particular drug that, you know, would make him not off. And so, you know, sometimes he would go to the bathroom and be in the bathroom for like five minutes, kind of nodding in and out. So one day um, he went into the bathroom because I had already told him, like, I didn't, you know, want him using that particular drug in my crib. But uh, he went into the bathroom and. I'm like, okay, the water's running. I'm like, okay, that's usually what he's doing. But then it, it's getting a little bit too long. And I'm like, hey, man, like, what? He's he's sure taking a long time in there. So I, something said, get up and go look. And when I went in there and looked, he was laying, you know, because he was in the bathroom. I didn't want to, you know, barge nobody in the bathroom. Now, he could have been in there doing anything, you know, bathrooms. That's what they're for. Privacy. People <laughs> use the bathroom. But something said, get up. So I got up and I went in there. And he's laying on the floor, purple, barely breathing. Mm-hmm. Barely breathing. And, and, it, and, it, and it just had so happened that because I didn't know CPR. I was I, I was freaking out, though. I'm not going to lie. I was freaked out. And there was one other person there with us. And he really shouldn't have, you know, it wouldn't. It just, you, you know, how everybody knows how things go. Everybody can't stay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In those situations. Uh, but they did try to help before they, you know, had to leave because I, I called, you know, I had to call the police. But at, 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 the, at the very time that I went into the bathroom to call the police, a friend of mine came, came, happened to just stop by my house who knew CPR. And that's what that's what say eventually ultimately saved his life. If I had been if I had been um, if I hadn't even went in there because I did I did try to do CPR. I kept him, you know, elevated so that he was breathing. I uh, kept shaking him, but if I hadn't gave a fuck about him and I went in there just blind, okay, well, he doing what he doing. No, uh -uh, then he would have died. Definitely would have. It's about making high vibe. It's about making good choices. Even if you are using drugs, I, I pride myself. I didn't always make the best decisions when I was using drugs. I definitely didn't. Uh, however, I... I, I was very I was I was very righteous most of the time you know what I'm saying I always I always moved with love period so yeah you get a, you know people don't understand that you you get around people you're having a good time you're, you're using drugs and it's, it's even gotten to the point where people have had people in their houses okay you, people have been invited over to people's houses to come over there and use drugs and have a good time and then the owner of the house it gets fucked up using drugs and every don't nobody bother to, to call the police or nothing. I'm not laughing because I think it's funny. I think I'm laughing because it's, 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 it's disgusting. Because motherfuckers really don't care. I feel like this person survived that shit this time. And I, and I, and, and I would hope that they would, wouldn't go back to using drugs. But hey, it happens. But I feel like people learn. You either learn, you either learn the, the, the worst way or you learn the hard way. I feel like this person learned the hard way, not the worst way, because they're still alive to talk about it. And I feel like whatever they tell these people is going to help them 
crack down on these people. Yep. That's the story. That's the end of this message. It is. It, it's. It's really time for you know. Every we do have to be accountable for ourselves. We definitely do, and that's you know, because we can't make other people do what's right. You know, people have to make a choice to do that shit. Even when it comes to like, you know, people uh, bailing out on people or ditching people when they overdose because they don't want to get caught up. They don't want to go to jail, even though the laws say that they won't. Uh, you know, even when we're talking about that, we're we're st we're st we're still have to be accountable for the fact that we were with people doing whatever we were doing any motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not right for people to poison, to put fentanyl in drugs and they don't tell people, but we shouldn't really be using them drugs anyway. And I know sometimes it's easier said than done. That's not, I'm not knocking anybody for doing that. I'm just telling you, that's how it is. Because we can't, I'm just basically telling you, every, there's, you're not going to meet, there's, it's going to be very rare that you meet good people that are getting high, that people that won't steal from you, people that won't fuck you over, people that won't help other people set you up for certain death for money or to blackmail you. It's very rare that you're going to meet good people that won't do that, that are also using drugs. Facts. I was one of those good people, <laughs> like one of the only ones <laughs> most of the time. It was very rare that I ever met people that weren't on like on the same shit as everybody else. But why take your chances and it, why take your chances and hope that you're going to meet somebody that's going to be good like you? You know what I'm saying? It's still not worth it. It's not worth it to continue to keep taking those chances is what I'm basically saying. All right. That is the end of this message. I hope this message finds whoever it needs to find. I hope this message helps who it needs to help. I hope that everybody was able to get something out of this message. I appreciate you. I do. It's 4.54 p.m. And that's where we're going to close out this message, close out the reading. Just make sure you do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. So I was looking light around this bitch. As always, take it easy. Be better to yourself. Be better to other people. Make an elective choice today to do something that's not selfish or scabbity. Do something righteous. Stop doing shit that you know damn well gonna get you karma. Stop doing shit that you know damn well is gonna be bad for somebody else. Make a better choice. It's just that easy. It truly is. Be accountable for yourself. You feel me? I love you. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. It's always take it easy. I love you to the moon and back, baby. Deuces. <laughs>